Hello, parents, relatives, faculty, friends, and members of the class of 2020. Welcome to East Anchorage High School's class of 2020 virtual graduation observance. I'm Sam Spadella, the principal of East Anchorage High School, and it's my privilege to greet you today. On March 30th, I sent you a letter indicating that we were about to begin an experience in education that had not been previously taken in the Anchorage School District. Online learning for every student in high school. Fortunately for our seniors, this endeavor has been successful. This virtual graduation experience will provide opportunities for recognition of successes and celebrations for our seniors. The 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony with Anchorage School District and East High School. Graduates, let's consider for a few minutes your experience as a student at East Anchorage High School. I have had the opportunity to watch you go through many aspects of life these last four years. You have experienced excitement and joy with the peer relationships, with activities through sports, with clubs and performances, and just daily life in school. You have experienced disappointments when your expectations were not met and sadness when losses occurred. While dealing with events that bring feelings of joy and excitement or events that bring sadness and discouragement, you have developed character qualities that will be lifelong lasting. On November 30th, 2018, you experienced an earthquake that interrupted the end of your first semester in your junior year. Just recently, you have experienced the interruption of your senior year with the COVID-19 pandemic. This has not only reordered your academic program, it also adjusted your social arrangements with the social distancing procedures that have been established. As we reflect on these circumstances, you see that your education these last few years has not only been what you have acquired intellectually, but it's also has been an opportunity to provide you with character qualities that will take you in whatever path you follow in life. These character qualities have brought you the successes that we celebrate today. Among these qualities are determination, perseverance, courage, initiative, diligence, self-control, dependability, and sincerity. These character qualities have become the foundation of who you are. As you continue to practice these qualities, you will continue to succeed with great accomplishment. The development of strong intellectual ability plus strong character will lead you to be successful men and women in our society. Graduates, you have fulfilled my expectation of what East High students are to be dynamic, enthusiastic, conscientious learners, fun-loving, and dedicated to fulfilling the, mo the motto of East Anchorage High School, to be united in the pursuit of excellence. Graduates, cherish the experience that you have encountered at East High. Members of the class of 2020, congratulations, and may God bless each one of you. Class of 2020, make some noise! We can't hear you! No, like seriously, we can't hear you. Okay, okay, enough of the jokes. We are here today to congratulate each of you on this wonderful achievement. People tend to overlook the accomplishment of graduating when it's really less about walking across that stage and more about all that you went through to get to this moment. The perseverance of this student body is second to none. I've seen so many of you push through adversity without even breaking a sweat. We are finally at the finish line, and man, does it feel great. Today, we want to talk a little bit about East Anchorage High School. No, not the building, not the mascot, but the people inside of the school. Teachers, staff, and students. Let's call this the chameleon effect. The chameleon effect? 
Yeah, like that lizard that modifies its colors based on its environment. Okay, so what does that have to do with East? Well, when we both came to this school as freshmen, we did not have much of an identity. We had not discovered our interest or who we wanted to become. Yeah, I was just a kid with glasses who could crack a few jokes. And I was this confused scrawny kid who couldn't even find his classes. So what changed us? The community at East is a place where just being a student is fine, but being an artist, athlete, musician, or change maker comes naturally. Is this where the chameleon effect comes in? Yeah, exactly. Uh, for example, what happens when someone who has never played an instrument is stuck in a room full of musicians for a day? Well, most likely they'd leave that room with a newfound love for music. There you go. Everyone adapts to their environment and the people who influence them. This student body at East is so talented that it consistently has the power to transform students into works of art. Coming in as a freshman, I did not even like basketball that much. Within weeks, I was running up and down the East High courts at an open gym. As for me, I immediately found the amazing orchestra and continued to develop my talents as a musician. The upperclassmen helped drive my passion and love for the violin. Similar to both of us, I'm sure that many of you have experienced the chameleon effect. The East High student body has the effect of shaping students into people they would never expect. This school consistently puts out the next world changers and it is all thanks to each of you. We have all influenced the younger students at East in some way, shape or form. We have contributed to their identities. We have successfully raised a new breed of chameleons. We have carried on the East Anchorage High School tradition of shaping people who are more than just a student. With that being said, it's hard to imagine having a family other than each of you. We have grown in remarkable ways through these past four years. Whether you are a classmate, a friend, or just happened to graduate this year, in one way or another, you have helped lead us to this amazing milestone in our lives. 2020, 2020 Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds, we love you, we, we thank you, you, stay blessed, and, and wash your hands. hands.
I'm going to be honest. I have always envisioned myself in my cap and gown and possibly giving a speech. Eventually, I even started looking forward to sitting in those chairs for way too long, laughing at the families popping the confetti cannons they shouldn't have and almost breaking my ankles because of the heels I shouldn't be wearing. We did not, however, imagine ourselves graduating from home and giving this speech to a camera. We were already approaching a weird, stressful, and pivotal time in our lives as seniors, but I guess things weren't spicy enough for Miss Rona. The joke is on her, though, because we are still here. I know we're heartbroken that we were robbed of our senior experience, but at the end of the day, we are still here and we are still standing. One long lockdown, a destructive earthquake, and a brand new pandemic later, we, class of 2020, are still sitting in front of our screens getting ready to graduate. We are the epitome of resilience. We've successfully transitioned into this realm of online school and we have continued to support each other and complain about our assignments as if nothing has changed. All of us are at home doing our best to keep ourselves occupied and be productive. We just wanted to remind you all to take a step back and look at all you've accomplished. We've made it through seven final seasons. We've taken and passed classes we didn't want to take. Our athletes have grinded through their sports seasons. Our drama department has put on amazing shows. Our musicians have created gorgeous music. Our dancers have danced their hearts out. Every club and group at East High School devoted a piece of themselves to our beautiful community, and that is something we can all be proud of. Instead of focusing on the fact that we are not together, we should focus on the fact that we got through this together. We want to give royal thanks to every member of the East High School staff for working to give us the best high school experience possible. Thank you for guiding us through these four years and preparing us for our next steps in our lives. Thank you for encouraging us to continue on, to express ourselves, to not panic about that math test, to apply to that college, to try out for that team, and to go for that solo. Thank you to our families for all the love and support. We would be nowhere near where we are without you all. And to my fellow T-Birds, I am so proud of each and every one of you. Keep being great, keep being passionate, and keep being a T-Bird. Last summer, when all my friends would tell me senior year is going to be a movie, I didn't think they were talking about Home Alone. And earlier this month, when I was informed I'd been chosen as one of the speakers at graduation, I was terrified until I realized that it wouldn't be in front of thousands of people. Uh, yet here we are in front of a camera and possibly hundreds of people, and here I am still nervous. So I'm glad we all seem to make the best of this unfortunate situation we woke up in. And I'd like to congratulate all my fellow seniors for sticking it out till graduation even though it's not the one any of us imagined. Great job, everyone. Your family, teachers, and I am proud of you. Speaking of teachers, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of them, the counselors, and the other faculty members who helped me get through my high school years. I couldn't have done it without any of you, and I mean it because during this last quarter, I realized I can't teach myself anything school-related at home. Last but not least, my family. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Joey. I made it, uh, though a huge part of me being here now is due to the wonderful East High staff members. You guys did all the behind the scenes work, from making me breakfast in the morning on test days to helping me cheer up after the bad ones. And for everything else you guys did, I'm forever grateful, and I truly can't thank you enough for supporting me in every way possible throughout these past four years. I love you guys and Gracie and Lola very much. Over the past few graduations I've attended, I would watch the students give their speeches and ponder on what I would say if I were in that position when 2020 came around. And needless to say, any plan I had come up with then went out the window when the rest of the school year got canceled. Now, instead of standing you all in front of the, or in the front of the Sullivan Arena, I am here in front of a camera and speaking to you all safely within your homes. Now, I'd like to speak to how the cl graduating class of 2020 is one for the history books. We are the first class in history to have our entire fourth quarter canceled. We are the, f and the first class to have completed our high school career in online classes. And most of all, we can say that we are the first class ever to have a virtual graduation. And while we may not like having to be at home when we should be out enjoying our graduation with our friends, 
We will indeed, in the end, have a very unique story of our senior year to tell our future families. Class of 2020, 2020. We've triumphed over world events twice now. The earthquake scare of November, and now the COVID craze. Good record to enter the adult world, though not our basis for success. Other things may change us, but we start and end with family. Andrew Brandon. 2-0 is the result, a result from having a family to support us, biological or not. I would like to give a word of gratitude to my family that helped me succeed, to my biological family, my parents, for working every day to find a source to support me with. Gracias, padres. My educational family, the teachers that not only put in time, but also effort into answering my questions. I might still have a few questions. And of course, my friend turned family, the six foot four tree that reciprocated all the support through high school. See you in space. High school is over, but as Adam Wahid said, the work don't stop, grind don't stop. So whether you are going to university or simply to work in a city, good luck. When that's what. Hello, senior class of 2020. From the time I started middle school, I wanted to graduate from East just like my brothers and sisters did. There was never a question in my mind that I would graduate until over a month ago. And the realization set in, as it did for so many of my peers, and we tried to stay positive, but it also seemed like we were going through stages of grief. We were grieving for what seemed like a lost dream, because for so many of us, graduating isn't just about getting a diploma. It's about the ceremony and tradition, all of which seemed to vanish. For the first few weeks, I personally tried to pretend that maybe we would still have a normal graduation. But with so many memes plastered all over the internet, mourning and encouraging the class of 2020, it seemed impossible to forget that we wouldn't have most of that tradition and ceremony. It was then that I began reflecting on my school experiences. I remembered in middle school, there were these signs hung up on the wall saying 90 by 2020. These signs were meant to encourage students to attend school by asking for a 90% attendance rate by the year 2020. At the time, the year 2020 seemed so far away, and in all honesty, I haven't seen one of those signs since then. But five years ago, the class of 2020 was the class to beat. Five years ago, the class of 2020 was going to be a standard and a benchmark for years to come. Now here we are, the class of 2020, in the midst of a pandemic and a society riddled with fear for the present and the future. Here we are, graduating virtually, and we are daring to have hope for the future. Here we are, the class of 2020, and we are still the class to beat. Class of 2020, you're still the greatest of all. We survived something future classes will learn about in their history books, not to brag or anything, but the millions of memes online just remind me of a 2020 vision. This is not what any of us expected, but at least we're able to say we did it. As the first one in my family to graduate in a high school in the United States, I want to say I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of us all for surviving four years of tears, joy, and other emotions. From now on, we will be adults. Then our, family, then our lives will finally, <laughs> finally initiate. From now on, everything's gonna start. High school should not be considered the best year for lives because after this, another chapter begins. I bet everyone still remembers the first day at East. I know because I got lost on my way to my locker more than twice. I was that one annoying freshman who was always lucky enough to have great teachers and great friends by my side. They encouraged me to continue, try my best, and most importantly, to never give up. Class of 2020, do not let this small rock in your path discourage you from being great. Why we'll settle for good when great is available? Continue on and let the situation we're living in make you stronger. To the class of 2020, my name is Gao Zong. And my name is Devorah. The time has finally arrived. We may not be walking across a stage physically, but we have all worked hard these past 12 years to get there. Some say high school is where you make the best of memories. And for the class of 2020, I believe our high school experience has been quite eventful to say the least. Now, as we look back at the last four years of our high school experience, many moments cross our minds. This pandemic has taught us not to take for granted our times to spend with family, friends, our peers standing within six feet apart from one another and to be free because we know what it is like to lose not only the things we cherished but the things we looked forward to the most nevertheless here we are now ready or not we'll be moving on to the next stage in our life as we move forward from this moment on we will recall some of the big moments we missed but we will never forget the good times we have spent together 
As Michael Josephson once said, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. And with that, stay safe and stay healthy. A lot of people, including myself, have envisioned graduation as an accomplishment of a lifetime. I'm a first generation high school graduate like many students at East Anchorage High School, and I'm finally fulfilling a part of the American dream. I would never imagine myself having a virtual graduation in a million years, but despite this, graduating, even if it's virtual, is a huge accomplishment for anyone. I am so proud to be part of a class that is hardworking, diligent, and positive. With the skills we have learned from school, we can achieve anything and everything. As we move on to the future, we have been gifted with the opportunity that has highlighted the careers and jobs that are vital in our community. I hope this event inspires East graduates to open up their choices for future professions that will make a difference in our society. High school graduation is only the first accomplishment of many to come, and as our futures are just beginning to unfold, I just want to remind everyone that the Class of 2020 graduation will be the most memorable and unifying event in the history of East Anchorage High School. Now as we come to the conclusion of this speech, we would like to take a moment to give our big thanks to our parents, our teachers, our friends, our peers, and everyone else who has been part of our journey to this very moment. Congratulations, Congratulations to the Class of 2020. I guess 2020 wanted to subvert our expectations like Star Wars The Last Jedi. That is to say, this is not how I expected senior year to end, and not in a good way. What should have been an amazing and exciting final quarter of high school turned into Plague Inc. Couch Potato Edition. But that's okay. Things don't always go the way they're planned or how we want. And all we can do is persevere. There will always be obstacles for us, but what's important is that we keep moving forward. When life gives you lemons, what do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You pick up those lemons and squirt them right back into life's eyes. Or you can make lemonade, either way. I digress. For many of us, these are tough times. But we will improvise, adapt, and overcome. Um, although I've only been here for two months, only one of which I actually spent at East, I was able to meet new people and create new experiences. It's unfortunate that many of the activities we were looking forward to were canceled, but we can still support each other um, by maintaining at least six feet of distance with each other. <laughs> um, there are so many healthcare workers putting their lives on the line, and we should, give, we should all give them support and listen to them, so stay inside, please. As we step into the next stage of our lives, um, please remember that there will always be things to overcome and get past, but there are people that care and are willing to help, and that's, some, that's not something to ignore. Hello, East High Class of 2020. My name is Ian Roach. My name is Kellyanna McCalla. And my name is Fallon Gleason. Today, we celebrate four years of perseverance, friendship, and memorable moments. We all started as young freshmen and have passed many trials to arrive here, the final destination in our high school career. Before we celebrate the future, we should look towards the past at all the memories that made our high school experience memorable, from sports and music to AP classes and clubs. Although we have faced many obstacles, we nevertheless have succeeded, and today we sit together on computers and phones to recognize our accomplishment. Everything we have done has brought us to this day. The caps and gowns we wear signify that our hard work has paid off, but our triumph over the difficulties previously faced could not have been possible without the people in our lives. Family, friends, teachers, and role models all have played a part to help us see this day. Their love and support enables us to be here right now, and the lessons they have taught us will serve us in the future. Graduation is a stepping stone into the rest of our lives, and though we will all take very different paths, we hope that the disappointment we felt over losing this one day is greatly overshadowed by the monumental days to come. We will have days of firsts, days of learning, days of loss. We will have triumphs and downfalls as we navigate the beginnings of our adult lives. Through it all, we hope that you find happiness, strength, and support to fuel your future endeavors. Whether it be career, college, or military service, our futures lie ahead of us, ready to shape and mold, and we hope you make something great. In the words of Mr. Glint, if, if you can't, can't be good, good be, be better. better. Congratulations, Congratulations, class of 2020. Dr. Bishop, the record of each and every graduate has been carefully examined, and as the principal of East Anchorage High School, I verify that each one of these students has met the credit requirements for graduation from the Anchorage School District. It is with privilege and pride that I present to you the members of East Anchorage High School Class of 2020. As superintendent of the Anchorage School District, 
I accept the class of 2020 from East High School. And to the school board, I present the class of 2020 to you. Congratulations, Thunderbirds. On behalf of the Anchorage School District School Board, I proudly accept the East Anchorage High School Class of 2020. Congratulations. The world is full of all kinds of people inside our blood flows the same. Let's tear down all the walls that we built and start a brand new game. Cause you can have a change of heart. Give the world a brand new start. Make a difference today. See the world a brand new way. When you think you can't make a difference, try and you might prove yourself wrong. Say hello to folks on the other side, try to get along. Cause you can have a change of heart. Give the world a brand new start. Make a difference today, see the world a brand new way. See the soul inside the skin, find out how each other is doing. Open up your heart and begin to see, set us free. And have a change of heart, give the world a brand new start. Make a difference today.
above all the places we will see Reaching out, I'm breathing in the world And every day ahead of us Remembering the dream we had Ready for this moment in our lives We are alright Stand up and join me in turning the tassel in three, two, one. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Yeah.